Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So, I am in the mood to do some cleaning, and I decided to declutter my concealers. I have not done this on my channel yet. I don't think I've done it at all for a while. So, it was definitely time, and I'm feeling like I'm going to be a little cutthroat about it. I don't know. We will see, because I do have a tendency to start swatching, and then I'm like, ah, but maybe. So, we know that's probably going to happen, too. But before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. If you want to see how many concealers I have and which ones I decide to get rid of, stay tuned and keep on watching. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're starting with. This is the drawer that is upstairs in my bathroom. So these are the concealers that I use pretty much every day when I'm just doing quick looks. Then we also have this little baby right here, which is one of my storage drawers of concealer. And I think these should all be higher end. And then we also have this one that should be mostly drugstore yeah no see these aren't even organized so i just want to declutter stuff that i'm not using stuff that i've tried and i know i didn't like it and i just stuck it back in here i do have some other concealers that hmm, i just recently purchased so I want to make room and then I also have this from my travel bag which has some concealers in it as well so I'll pull those out but probably gonna keep these because if they're in my travel bag that means I love them I can say right now pretty much anything that has not been opened means I have not tried it so I will not be getting rid of those so first I have this can't stop won't stop concealer from NYX I pulled this out and put it in my everyday drawer to see if I was going to like it because I have not used it in a while. I like the color of it, but I don't feel like I was in love with it when I tried it. So I'm just going to declutter this. Here's where I struggle because in my mind, I'm like, I can't remember. So I need to try it again, but then I try it and I don't love it. And then I'm like, maybe I need to try it again. It's a whole cycle. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Next, I have this e.l.f. This is the 16-hour camo concealer. Oh, sorry. The next one is in the shade Neutral Tan. This is in Deep Chestnut. Chestnut. This one is more of, I kind of use this as like a spot concealer because it's so close to my skin tone. So I'm going to keep this. I've used quite a bit of it. So I think I'm going to be done with this one pretty soon. So this is a keep. Next, I have this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade Caramel. I love this for like my quicker. I just need to throw something under my eyes and set it and it's not super heavy coverage. Very easy to blend out and wear. I'm almost done, so I'm gonna keep this and finish it. Next, I have this Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Dark Peach Bisque. I don't feel like this is a corrector. This feels more like a concealer and honestly, it's pretty old and I don't use it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Next is the Rare Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 420N. This is new to my collection and I like it. So I'm gonna keep it. I also have the Kosas, what is this called? I think it's like the Revealer Concealer or something like that. It doesn't say on the bottom, but this is in the shade 08. I do like this one as well, so I'm gonna keep it. Next is this Item Beauty. This is the Air Hug Concealer Corrector in shade 330. This is fairly new. You've seen it in a recent haul from BoxyCharm. And I do like this one. Ooh, why are you separating? Because it isn't that old. Um, I do like this one. I don't like the applicator on it though, but I do like this one for like my everyday looks. That is weird that that's separating already. But I'm going to keep this one. It sounds very liquidy, so maybe I just need to remember to shake it. Next, I have this Almay Perfect Skin Comfort Concealer. 
I have mixed feelings about this one. I like how easy it is to apply. The shade doesn't do much for me though. I bought this to try the Alme brand and I feel like I like it, but I don't love the shade. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna try to be a little cutthroat. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This one is in the shade medium, in medium four. I just recently pulled this one out of my collection because I felt like I needed to try it. I like the shade of this one and honestly, I haven't used it enough to form an opinion about whether or not I wanna keep it. I do know Cover FX. I don't know if they're going out of business or what is going on with this, but I'm gonna keep this one. I like the shade of this one. Next, I have this, is this, what is this, Flower Beauty? This is the Chill Out, oh, this is already rubbed off. It's by Drew Barrymore. I'm having a brain fart, but whatever. It's supposed to be a corrector in the shade Deep Peach. Um, This is not as creamy as I thought it was going to be. The shade, I feel like, kind of comes across more as like a concealer shade, and it's not as much coverage Oh, in my nail, that's what I was worried about. To say, like, I just, I don't like it. I thought it was going to be creamier. I thought it was going to be more like the Becca one, the Becca Smashbox now corrector kind of thing, and it's not. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Next, I have the NARS. This is their Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Medium Dark 2 Caramel. This one I do like. I've put a pretty big dent in it. I've had this for a while. This one is more like an everyday, not super glam kind of shade for me. So I am going to try to finish this or chunk it at some point if it goes bad before I do. But I've used quite a bit of this. And then this is, this is just samples. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealers. So I just keep these in here for something to try. So I'm going to keep these. All right, so now we're gonna move into my high end. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Um, this is the Too Faced Instant Coverage Concealer. This one's in the shade Rose Tea. I have a few of these, or maybe just a couple. Uh, this might be it, actually. Um, this is very, very drying, and I don't love it under my eyes. And honestly, I think this shade, I should have got a brush or something. Um, yeah, I don't like this shade. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I got these from the cosmetics company store, and I don't know why. I just kept picking up different shades of it, but... Yeah, this one's too light. This one is in the shade Cappuccino. I feel like I have another one of these somewhere in the same shade, but I don't know where it's at. We might come across it later, um, but I'll go ahead and show you the shade. Yeah, this is a better shade, so I'm gonna keep this one. It has not been used. Next, I have the Tarte C Hydro Sealer. This is in the shade 32N Medium Neutral. Is this the same thing? This is also Tarte C. I don't know if this is a sample. This is in 44H Tan Honey. So let's see. I do like the shade of that. It is a little light. This is this other one. I feel like I didn't like this. Yeah, this one's too light, so it can go. I don't. I, rem I don't remember liking this. I'm gonna hold on to this one though. I feel like I like the shade better and I need to try this again. Next I have the Uoma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer. This is in the shade Bronze Venus number 11. I like the shade of this. She is a little light, but I don't remember trying this concealer, so I need to try it. And then if I like it, maybe I'll get another shade, but I really don't remember this, so I probably need to bring this upstairs. Next, I have the Beauty Blender Air Bounce Concealer in the shade 4.05 Tan Pecan. I do like this. I'm going to keep it. This is the Sephora brand Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This one's in the shade 13.5 Ginger Snap. I don't love the shade of this. I was able to make it work 
Um, I did a full face of Sephora. And I'm going to keep it. It is a little peachier than I normally do, but I can also set it with just like a standard kind of yellow powder. And I think it'll be okay. I think I loved how my look came out using this. So I'm going to keep it. I just got that this this year. So not going to chunk her yet. This is the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 350. It's the Instant Retouch Concealer. I don't remember how I felt about this. I've used quite a bit of it. Hmm. Oh. I'm going to keep this one. Kat Von D, KVD, Vegan Beauty, whatever. Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. This is new to my collection. This is in the shade Tan 73. This one's a little dark, and it's also kind of olive, which I feel like when I used it, I didn't love the shade of it. I had trouble finding a shade that I thought was going to work for me, but... I like this one. This is more for like every day just to conceal a little bit. So I'm gonna keep it. Next I have the Sephora Clear and Cover Anti. This is the Acne Treatment Concealer Anti. I don't know where I got that from. This is pretty much empty. I use this forever. I would just like cover my spots and then put a little powder over it. This is old, I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. I recently tried to pick up her new concealer that just came out and honestly, I don't think I did well with finding a shade, so I don't think I picked it up. Um, this one is in Granola 18N and I feel like it is very, very light, even though I thought it was going to be my shade. Hmm. I don't love, I wanted to use this, but I don't even think you can get this anymore. And it is super, super light. I don't think I used it though. I'm gonna keep this, I need to try it. So I'm gonna stick this in my maybe pile. This is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in the shade number eight. Love this, this was one of my favorites for a while, so I am gonna keep it. This is the Milani Conceal, oh sorry, oh I did say the shade. Um, This is the Milani Conceal Imperfect Longwear Concealer. I bought this because I was out of town and I didn't have a concealer. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I feel like I don't love the shade of this. Let me see. This has a super strong smell. I want to keep this and try it again because I don't remember how... This is in 160 Warm Tan. I don't remember how it wore. If it wore well, then I can get a different shade. So I'm gonna try this one again. I'm gonna put this in the maybes. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Anti-Creasing Concealer. This is in shade number 43. I feel like, I don't think I like this because I felt like it was super yellow, which it is, but I've been holding on to it and saying I'm gonna use it for like my eyeshadow primer or whatever, but I have eyeshadow primer, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I think I only have two of these. I hope I only have two of these. So this is the Kylie Concealer. I loved this. I still do. This is in the shade Sesame. This is Sesame and Cedar. So I bought a backup of Se Sesame because I really liked it. But then I also wanted to try another shade because Sesame is more kind of peachy. But I just, I love the formula of this. I love, I love this. So not getting rid of it. Let me see what cedar looks like compared. Ooh, that looks very pink. I know it's still in the box, but that's too pink. I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of it. Next, I have this Marc Jacobs. This is the Accomplice Concealer in the shade Tan 40. This kind of reminds me of Alme. Oh, let's stick her right here. I feel like I didn't love this, but I wanted to use it because I was on a Marc Jacobs kick. The shade's not bad. I'm going to take this out, put it in the maybes. I think I'm going to 
I don't remember being in love with it, so it's probably going to go, but I just need to see. This is the item beauty again. I ended up buying the same thing twice. I do feel like I like it, so I'm not going to get rid of it, but y'all saw this earlier. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer, Magic Touch Concealer in the shade 13. She's a little light, but I do like her. I like the shade of it, even though it's light. I just tone it down with powder. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur HD Creaseless Concealer. I just did a review on this and it is new. I like it, not gonna get rid of it. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I'm gonna get rid of this. I know I'm not gonna use it. It is really thick. I had it in my like skin tone shade for a while but that's too light. This is the Zara Beauty Luminous Creamy Concealer in shade C935. I like this. I just got this and just recently tried this, so I am going to keep this one. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Biscuit. Put a pretty big dent in this one too. This one's a little peachier and a little lighter. I feel like I started thinking this one was too light, which is why I started using the other one. Look how creamy that is though. It is light, but I just, I can't remember. I'm almost done with it. So I'm gonna keep it and bring it upstairs and try to finish it off with the other one. This is the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the other Marc Jacobs and keep this one. Extra Shot Concealer in shade Tan 310. Yeah, that's more of the shade that I normally tend to gravitate towards anyway, so I'm going to keep this one. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer in the shade, ooh, this small cinnamon. This I don't use under my eyes. I use it on my face to cover and then just put powder. She is thick. She is full coverage. I am going to keep this one. This is the Pat McGrath Concealer in the shade M20. I like this one's like way too yellow maybe. I don't love the shade of this, especially for under my eyes. So because of how much it costs, I said I'm going to keep it because how much it costs and I'll use it for eyeshadow primer or something. No, I'm not. This is shade M17. I definitely like this shade a lot more. It is a bit bright, but it always looks so beautiful on the skin. And then this is my backup of M17. So I'm going to keep these two. I'm going to finally get rid of this. Next, I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in 42S Tan Sand. Y'all already know this was like OG, one of the best of the best. It is light, but the way I wear my foundation's dark, it helps to balance everything out. I have this one. I have this one. I have this one. I have problems. <laughs> uh, I think that's all of them. Yeah, so these are all shape tapes and 42, same shade as here. This one just says tan, so let's see if it is the same thing. It says that once these are open, they have a six month shelf life. This does not look the same. Interesting, so this is not the same. I'm gonna get rid of this one because this is old. I've had this forever. And then when I decide to use this again, I will open a new one. Sticking to Shape Tape, they also came out with the ultra creamy version. I bought two during the 21 Days of Beauty. These are 44H, I don't know, this says tan, and then this one is, is it the same? 42S tan sand, so same as the other shades, one of each, and I have not tried these, so when I do open one, I will probably open one of these to try this, since I know what Shape Tape is like. Keeping them both. Next, I have this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Concealer. This is in medium deep neutral. I bought this from the Cosmetics Company store. I think it's a good shade. Um, I honestly don't remember using it or how I felt about it. So I'm going to put this with my Maybes to try to decide if I'm going to keep it. 
Next, this is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer in shade 21 Dark. I don't know what they thought, how this is anybody's dark, but I remember feeling like this was way too light for me. Although it's not that much different from the others, but I just, I don't remember being like, oh, I love this concealer. Let me put it with the tries. I gotta decide before I just chunk it if I really don't remember. LYS, this is the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer in the shade TN6. I like this, I'm keeping it. This is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer in the shade 120 Macassar, Macassar? I have no idea. Now, here's the thing. I don't love the formula of this. I don't love the shade of this. I got this from the cosmetics company store. I don't think the coverage is that great. And if I'm completely honest, I'm holding on to it because I wanted to do a full face of my most expensive makeup. And this is really dark to put under my eyes. So I normally use it on just a quick cover, hide my bags face, but... I'm going to keep it. I'm going to do that video soon. And then honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of it. I also feel like I remember this kind of like had a tingle under my eyes or something. I don't know what was up with that. So this is going to go in the maybes because I want to do that video. And then I don't know if I'm going to keep it, to be honest, which sucks because you want to keep your high end stuff, but not if you're not going to wear it. Next, I have the Makeup Revolution XX. Revolution Concealer. I don't know the name of this. It's not on here. This is in CX12. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but this has really great coverage. I bought like a bunch of their stuff to do a video doing a full face. And I remember I liked this. I liked how my look came out. So I'm sure this is probably, if everything is a six months, I'm, this would be expired, but I don't throw stuff away until I have a reaction. <laughs> so I'm not gonna get rid of this one. This is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer in WN80 Tawny Beige. I also got this from the Cosmetics Company store and I don't think I've even used this. I think I just swatched it, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. This is the Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. This is in the shade Tan. And I'm trying to remember if I've even used this. I don't feel like it the way it just opened. This has not been used. I guess I need to try it. Good shade, I need to try this. Because I know I love the Multi Sculpting Concealer. This is in Warm Sand. I need to check this shade because I have, I think it's Butterscotch. And that is the shade that I normally use. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm keeping this one. Um, Butterscotch is the shade that I normally use and I felt like it's like borderline I wanted one that was gonna be brighter to use for my glam looks So I picked this one up at the cosmetics company store. This has probably not been swatched either because it's still in the box um, So this one is a little bit lighter than butterscotch. Oh, yeah, I like it definitely keeping this one and I love the formula of these. So this is Warm Sand. Next, I have the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. Got this from the Cosmetics Company Store and I had not tried this formula. So I got it. This is a little on the, it's not as bad as the Pat McGrath one here, but I'm gonna put this in the maybes and try it because I haven't tried it. See, this says six months when you open it too, and this has been longer than that. Don't judge. I don't, this is the one thing I don't go by expiration dates. I do it on food, I do it on my vitamins, everything else, but makeup, hell nah, because this is too expensive. Patrick Star, one size, medium, dark, 2R. Love, love, not getting rid of. MAC, y'all, this is so old. She has to go. Pro Long Wear Concealer. I don't, I bought into the hype of this when I first started makeup. This is in shade NC42. This is old, I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. This is one of my all time favorite concealers. Urban Decay, all, no, this is a different one. This, which one is this? Yeah, Naked Skin, this is one of my all time favorites. So when this went on sale and I was able to get half off, at Ulta, I did, and I get the same shade, medium, dark, warm. This is in my travel bag. Love this, never fails me. Keeping these. 
And then these two are the All Nighter, and they are also in the shade Medium Dark Warm. I don't have one of these open. I don't even know. I probably should try this to see if I like it. I'm gonna take this out to try one of them because I honestly don't know how I feel about this to say if I need to keep two. This is the Cover FX. I did say something about this earlier. Yes. So I had N Medium 4. This is N Medium 3. I think I got this for like eight bucks. So you can see the difference in the shades right there. I'm gonna keep it. And then this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. I think this is supposed to be anti-creasing too. Water resistant full coverage concealer. Long wearing formula, yada, yada, yada. This is in the shade Honey. Got this from Marshalls. Let's see. You know, I feel like, I think I remembered feeling like this was too creamy, but now that I'm a little older and I'm not oily anymore, I think it might be okay. So this needs to come be tried as well. So that is it in this first bin. I'm gonna put these all back. I like to keep the ones that are in the boxes kind of stacked up so that I can see them pretty easy. So I'm just gonna put all these back in here. These are the ones that I'm keeping so far. All right, so over to this next bin. I just recently picked up the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer. This is in the shade 304 Medium. Keeping this one and putting her where she goes. This is the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. I thought this was gonna be like a corrector, but it is more kind of like a tinted moisturizer and that is way too much, so. I'm not gonna use this. I think I bought it during a Milani sale because I wanted to try it, but this is in 130 Deep Peach. It's just a tinted something. Like, it's not gonna do anything for me. So, trash. This is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. It says 30 hours concealer corrector. This is in the shade number 45. I don't even remember if I've used this or not. And this would definitely be more of like an everyday shade. I need to try this because I don't think I've used this. So we're going to pull her out. This is the Kevin Aquin Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade SX11. Y'all, this shade is super light, super full coverage. I'm going to keep this. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I like this. I just got this this year. This is in the shade... Sand? Yes, in sand. I'm keeping this. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is so old. Medium Dark number 32. This is old, old. Oh yeah, she has to go. She's gonna go. This is the Juvia's Place Concealer in shade number 15. It is really light, but I love this formula. Did a full face of Juvia's Place, I think, and I love this. So I'm gonna keep this. This is the MAC Pro Longwear in NW35. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector. There is probably not a lot left in here but love this so gonna try to finish that keeping already have another one and then i also have this darker shade that i wanted to use for like a contour kind of situation when i was trying to get into that look at this i have another one this one isn't even open i wonder if this is still good Ooh, i don't know I don't think this is still good. I can get another one of these. I'm gonna chunk this one. Um, yeah, this I was getting into trying to do like cream contour. This is so old, but it still works. Oh, I don't know what this crusty stuff, I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Tan Latte. I don't love the shade of this. I'm gonna get rid of it. I got this shade because I wanted to have a shade that I could use under my eyes to compare to Shape Tape, but I don't, I don't, I don't use this. I'm gonna, yeah, this is hurting my feelings. Oh, and then I have another one, Tan Sand Tan Latte. 
Deep Olive. Is this the same thing? Full coverage matte, full coverage matte. And then I have the Hydrating in, what shade is this one? Deep Cinnamon. I'm gonna keep this one because this one would be like for my face, not my under eyes. And I need to figure out which one of these I'm gonna keep. I feel like I don't like the shade of this Deep Olive one. I don't like yellow like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. This is so old and pink and we don't do pink. Yeah, she can go. I hope they come out with more colors of this. I feel like I couldn't find a shade that I felt was my color. And then this one again is tan sand. That's too light, Barbara. What were you thinking? Yeah, these are all gonna go. They're not gonna be used, even though I just opened them. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Love this. I know it's old, but love the shade, not getting rid of it. This has not been opened. Can't stop, won't stop in neutral tan. I already said I was getting rid of this, even though the other shade I had was okay. Same shade, neutral tan. So now this is making me question again. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't. I don't know. They can both go. This is, oh, that's making me think about it. I'm gonna try this again. See, this is what happens. If I have two, I feel like there was a reason. So we'll try it, I'll see. This is the Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee. This is very, very old. These are so cheap. This is a good shade though. I'm gonna take this out and see if I'm gonna keep that because I need to see how it wears, but I like the shade of that. Oh, another e.l.f. tan sand going in the trash. I need to find the right shade in this. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. This is the e.l.f. Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark 125N. Keeping this, I like that concealer. This is the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I don't remember. Let's see, I like the shade of it. I need to try this. I'm gonna take this one out. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and Corrector with what? Acetyl? What is that? Acetyl? It says targets dark circle spots and imperfections. I feel like I remember somebody saying that this wasn't great for under the eyes and then so I threw my other one away that I had open but I kept the back up. I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, sorry, this is in the shade 40 medium. This is the concealer, the Sephora Bright Future Color Corrector, keeping this. Another Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in 142 Golden. This is a little lighter than the one I said I was gonna finish. Yeah, the other is 144 Caramel. So you can see a little bit of a difference in the shades, but keeping this. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. I have not used this, it's not open. This is in shade C12. I'm not gonna open it. This is the Ulta brand Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Warm, Deep Warm. I wonder if this is light enough to go under my eyes. I do wanna do a full face of Ulta products, so I am gonna keep this, I need to try it. This is the Revlon Candid Antioxidant Concealer. This is not open, in the shade number 60. This is their Photo Ready line. I haven't tried this, so I'm not gonna get rid of it till I do. This is the Belief Beauty Concealer in the shade Beige. I like this, keeping this. Another Can't Stop, Won't Stop, see. Also, is this neutral tan? Yep, neutral tan. So next I have the Wet n Wild Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Golden. I feel like this is really light and I remember when I bought it, I said I wasn't gonna open it and then for whatever reason I did, but I don't remember how I felt about it. So this is gonna get pulled out to try. This is the Morphe, which one is this? C3.35, I have no idea what concealer this is. Ooh, that's a good shade though. God, that smells so strong though. Mmm, I wonder if this is bad. I'm gonna put it out to try it. That smell is making me nervous because it smells really, really chemically, like 
I don't know what that smell is, but I'm trying not to wipe these off so you guys can see like the shades, but I mean, these shades are all over the place. So I don't know that that even matters. This is the Flower Beauty Light Concealer, Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. Haven't tried this yet, not throwing it away. And then this is another ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one is not open, medium, dark, 36. The other one was medium, dark, 32. So let's see. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Can you even still get these? See that separation? If it hasn't been opened, what does that mean? Is that still bad? It'll be fine. I'm keeping this. And then last but not least, everything in my makeup bag I am keeping because these are the ones that I travel with. But I still want to just show you guys what I have in here. So it is my full collection. This is new. This is the Lip Bar Quick Conceal Caffeine Concealer. I like this. This is in the shade Caramel 300. Keeping this one, this is my Urban Decay Naked Skin in Medium Dark Warm, same shade as the ones earlier. And then this is Deep Cinnamon in the ELF Concealer, which you guys also saw earlier. I use this to spot correct as well as sometimes just to put on my, when I want a little bit of coverage, but I don't want to do my full face because I think it's a good match for me. Then I have a, there it is, Too Faced in Cap, is this Cappuccino? Yeah, Cappuccino. So this is the one from earlier that I said I didn't want to swatch. I have a backup of this one and I have put a dent in it. So keeping this one as well. And then last but not least, this is the Honest Beauty Honestly Bright Eyes Tinted Eye Cream. Now this has more coverage than the one that I threw away earlier by Milani. And I do like this. Oh man, try to suck some of that back in. I do like this one. So it's in my travel bag. Of course I like it. I'm going to keep this one. So that is it for my concealers. I have no idea how many. I guess I could count. I really don't want to. Oh, let's just count how many. Oh, I don't want to. All right, I'm going to count. Okay, so I have 18 that are drugstore that I'm definitely keeping. The four that I have in here, well, 18, 19, 20. So 20 drugstore that I'm keeping for sure. Then Honest Beauty, I don't know if that's drugstore or not. Yeah, I guess it is. So make it 21, make it even. Then I have one of my Naked by Urban Decay in here. So that's one. Oh, I just... And then I have 33 of my high-end ones. And then in here, I didn't count these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mix of drugs for the high-end that I'm keeping. So y'all do the math, whatever number that is. This is what is going in. This is in the maybe pile. So these are all... I'm going to put Tom Ford back because, like I said, I'm keeping that to do a video, but it's probably going to get thrown away. Um, and then these are all the ones that I need to try to remind myself if I want to keep them or not. And then this is what I'm getting rid of. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Uh oh. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This is what we're getting rid of. So I feel pretty good about this. I'm going to wipe these off before they get all over the place. But yeah, that is it. All right. So I don't know. Comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think I did well? Do you think I'm still. Hoarding, collecting, I like to say. I don't like hoard. I feel like my collection is very curated for someone who loves makeup, who loves to try different brands, and also just someone who likes to have different options, which is always the case with me. So this is what we've ended up with. This is my drugstore bin. So these are the concealers that I have. I feel like I wish I had more. 
but there just aren't that many. Oh, Sephora should not be in here. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there aren't that many that, well, I don't know, because I put Ulta in here. So should Sephora be in here? That's not drugstore. Is Ulta? Y'all comment and let me know. I think I was doing it by price, but that's not right. So anyway, yeah, this is what we're keeping from the drugstore. And then I can't tilt this this way because stuff's going to fall out. But this is what we are keeping from my high-end collection. This was overflowing earlier, so I definitely feel like I made a dent in that. And then this little bag right here has my maybes need to try that I said I was going to test to see if I want to keep them. Right now I'm wearing the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I just did my makeup a little while ago. So we're going to see how this wears. I'm about to go in the garage and work out. And I set it with my normal powder. I put my normal under eye cream. So this is just going to be a test to see how it works. But I like how it looked. I like how it applied and I have three of them so may not be getting rid of that one here we go anyway thank you for sticking with me till the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up so I know you guys want to see more content like this in the future and if you're new I hope you decided to join the family I'll see you guys in my next video bye